Okay, so what we're going to work on today is solving quadratics by factoring. All right, so I would like you to put me on pause and try the uh, do now to try this. Okay, so hopefully uh, you did the try this. Let, let's see. Remember when two fractions equal each other like this, we could cross multiply. So we do two times. 3x plus 4 equals 2 times 2x minus 11. So we will double distribute, uh, distribute, sorry. So we have 2 times 3x is 6x, 2 times 4 is 8, equals, distribute the 2, we get 4x minus 22. All right, now we're going to solve some minus 4x. 6x minus 4x is 2x, plus 8 is equal to negative 22. Minus 8 from both sides. We get 2x is equal to negative 30. Divide by 2, we get x is equal to negative 15. All right, so now uh, let's try the factoring. So hopefully remember when you solve a quadratic by factoring, the very first thing is you have to make sure it's in standard form. So that's step one. Make sure the equation is in standard form. form. Standard form is ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. Two, you're going to factor completely. Three, you're going to set each factor equal to zero. And then the last thing you're going to do is solve. All right, so let's take a look at number one. Okay, so number one says 5x squared plus 10x is equal to zero. So remember, when we factor, we always look for the GCF first. And I do see a GCF. The GCF is 5x times x plus 2 equals zero. Then you're going to make your T chart. Set each factor equal to zero. So 5x equals zero. x plus 2 equals zero. And then you're going to solve. So divide by 5, x equals 0, minus 2, x is equal to negative 2. All right, let's take a look at number 2. So I have 9x squared minus 25 is equal to 0. I look for a GCF. I don't see a GCF. The next thing I look for is dots, difference of two perfect squares. So I see 9 and 25, x squared, those are perfect squares. It is difference, and I have two terms. So it is the difference of two perfect squares. So I set up two parentheses. So we have plus minus in each one. The square, you take the square root of each one. So we get 3x and 3x. The square root of 25 is 5. So it's 3x plus 5, 3x minus 5. Do your t-chart. Set each one equal to 0. And then we're going to solve. So minus 5. 3x equals negative 5. Divide by 3. x is equal to negative 5 thirds. Add 5. 3x equals 5. Divide by 3. x is equal to 5 thirds. Okay, so let's try number 3. Okay, so I see I have x squared minus 4x minus 12 equals 0. So I'm looking for a GCF. I don't see a GCF. It's definitely not dots, so it must be a trinomial. So I do master product. Multiply the first times the last. I get negative 12x squared. So now you say to yourself, what multiplies to 12 minus is 2, 4. That would be 6 and 2. They get different signs, and we get negative 6, positive 2. That gives me the minus negative 4. Now we're going to factor by grouping. So the GCF of the first group is x times x minus 6. GCF of the second group is 2 times x minus 6. And my factors are x plus 2, x minus 6. Remember, it has to be equal to 0. T-chart. You get x plus 2 equals 0, x minus 2, x minus 6 equals 0, minus 2, x equals negative 2, add 6, x equals 6. All right, so let's try number 4. 
All right, so I noticed right away that my quadratic is not in standard form because it doesn't equal zero. So I need to get the 56 to the other side. So I'm going to minus 56. So I have 2x squared my plus 9x minus 56 is equal to zero. All right, so I'm going to do master product. So I multiply the first times the last. And I get um, negative 112x squared. So now I'm looking for two numbers that are multiplied to 112 minus to 9. Because that would be 16 and 7. So 16x and 7x. Different signs, and I need to get positive 9, so it's positive 16, negative 7. Now I'm going to factor by grouping. So group, group. GCF of the first group is 2x times x plus 8. GCF of the second group is negative 7 times x plus 8. So my factors are 2x minus 7 times x plus 8 equals 0. T-chart. Set them equal to 0. 2x minus 7 equals 0. x plus 8 equals 0. Add 7 to both sides. 2x equals 7. Divide by 2. We get x equals 7 halves. Minus 8. We get x is equal to negative 8. Okay, and then we have one more problem, so turn it over. Okay, so I have a proportion here. So I'm going to cross multiply. So I have 2 times that, so that's 2 times 5x squared plus 7x plus 1 equals, cross multiply the other way, x times 3x plus 5. We need to distribute. So we have 10x squared plus 14x plus 1, plus 2, sorry, equals 3x squared plus 5x. Okay, we need it to equal 0, so I'm going to minus 3x squared minus 5x. So I get 7x squared plus 9x plus 2 equals 0. Okay, so now I'm going to do master product. Multiply the first times the last. I get positive 14x squared. So what numbers multiply the 14 add to 9? That would be 7x and 2x. And they're both positive. That gives me positive 9x. So I'm going to factor by grouping. GCF is 7x times x plus 1. GCF is positive 2 times x plus 1. So my factors are 7x plus 2 and x plus 1. T-chart, set them equal to 0. 7x plus 2 equals 0. x plus 1 equals 0. Minus 2. 7x equals negative 2. Divide by 7, we get x equals negative 2 sevenths minus 1. x is equal to negative 1. Okay, so that's it. And I uh, hope you remember this from doing this in algebra, a little bit in geometry. And we'll practice more in class tomorrow. Have a good night.